What is up, guys? I'm going to give you a few minutes here to hop on. Uh, let's see. We'll go two minutes. Hey, where's my thing? Whoa. Yeah, two minutes. So if you are watching on the replay, just fast forward it two minutes. And uh, we will get right to it. Till then, I'm playing with filters. Lexi, what's up? Going to go over the new cycle here in just a minute. It's going to get you so strong. Only you can save the city. I don't, I don't know what Cyborg's voice is like. Hmm. There was a really cool one that I was using this morning that had like a big sparkly beard. I was a huge fan. Oh, 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 oh. Yep. Yep, this is the one we're using for the whole video. In one minute. Well, first off... I feel like I need to apologize for the uh, haircut. I'm going to go do some stuff to it and make it a little better. But we'll get there. Don't worry. Danny Jones, what's up? All right, I'm going. I'm going. Let's do this. Let me get it pulled up to make sure I'm exactly right on all the things I'm saying. Sorry, I probably should have done this before I started the live video. How's it going, Danny? No internet connection. Well, that's inconvenient. Let's try that again. Hey, there it is. Let me get logged in here, and then we'll go over... The cycle, and specifically this week that is coming up. Da, da, da. Come on, Coach Heroic. You guys should be setting up to max out tomorrow, or maybe you did it today, which is totally fine. And I totally need you guys to post those numbers on the page and tag me so I can see, because I'm excited to see what we get. Let me know if you PR, let me know what you PR, how big the gains have been in this last cycle that, that was really kind of a bodybuilding cycle for eight weeks and then only like a four week peak. So I'm not expecting anything too crazy, but we should have got a little bit of something, a little bit of something. All right, here we go. Perfect. All right, so new cycle is a little wild and crazy like my beard um we are if you've been on the team for a while we are doing a portion of it similar to what we did before so we were doing three sets of one at higher percentages just to kind of get the groove at heavier weight with the competition lifts and then whereas we did other stuff last time this time it's getting a little off book it's getting a little crazy it's getting a little outside the box um we are doing sets of stuff supersetted on everything on compound movements and it's going to be pretty brutal um i've been playing around with this a little bit the last week and a half or so just to kind of see what it does and how i feel recovery wise um so i tweaked it a little bit so you guys should be good uh, biggest thing on this cycle is you're gonna want to make sure you're eating donnie shankel you gotta eat you gotta eat you gotta eat you gotta eat and specifically, you got to eat your proteins because there's going to be some serious muscle damage going on, which is good because if we recover from that muscle damage, we're going to get bigger and stronger in good ways. Okay. So day one, Monday, bench press, three sets of one, 85%, easy peasy, no problem. Think about doing them just like you do in competitions. So we unrack it, we think about the commands, we pause for a second on our chest, and we push it up just like you would do in competition. This isn't a bouncing off your chest kind of bench press. This is a competition bench press, okay? Second thing is a superset. Five sets 
of 10 bench presses. And then as soon as you're done benching, get on the floor and start cranking out as many push-ups as you can. We're doing that for five sets. No rest between those two exercises. Take as much rest as you need after those two exercises in between the, the, the supersets. Um, on the bench, I put in a percent, 67%, to kind of, as a starting place, um, if you can get 10 reps at 67%, which y'all should, and it felt easy, feel free to creep up a little bit. What I want, though, is I want every set to get 10 reps. So I would rather you stay too light rather than too heavy here. You're going to get plenty of burn going on with those AMRAP push-ups. Max rep push-ups are going to burn you the rest of the way if you didn't pick quite high enough of a, of a, rep, or a weight on the bench. So 67% to, I would say, maybe like 75 at the tip top. Uh, if you're females, you could probably get away with that more than guys, just from a muscle endurance gender difference standpoint. And then our next superset is incline bench press for 10 reps and dips for max reps because I hate you all and I want you to get super big and strong. Um, so get ready to suffer a little bit, man. This is some pain cave stuff right here. This is a, you got to get in a space mentally where... Your muscles will get so sore, they'll actually stop hurting and they'll just be kind of numb. And that is the name of the game here for at least the next four weeks. We're going to build some crazy stupid muscle toughness. Uh, second superset's only four sets, so you're welcome for that. Same rules, no breaks um, until after you're done with your dips, then you can take a break. I don't care if you take 10 minutes between supersets. Take as long as you need to be recovered enough to do the work. Okay? Then we're done with our supersets for the day, getting you some hammer curls at four sets of 12 and some JM press, um, which I have the video in the Train Heroic app. Um, I'll also post it on the Facebook page here so you guys are familiar with that movement. Um, day two, we're squatting. Same rules as bench press competition squat, three sets of one. And then our front squats, we're gonna take 80% of our front squat and we're gonna do it for five reps. Rack the bar, get back under the bar for back squats with that same weight. We're going five front squats, 10 back squats, then you get to rest. Prepare to feel like you need to puke. Um, so we're keeping the weight with the front squats at that 80%. Again, rest as much as you need after the back squats to make sure you can get the full sets in. Your goal is full sets in. Next week is gonna be a very similar program to this because this week's gonna be so out of the box for you that your performance probably isn't gonna be that amazing. But next week, after you kinda of know what you're getting into, things are gonna cook a little better for you. Second superset is dumbbell lunges and dumbbell step ups, back to back. So on the dumbbell lunges and the step ups, we're doing eight reps per leg. So you're doing four sets of eight per leg on lunges, Four sets of eight per leg on step ups, back and forth superset style, rest as needed. Then we got some back extensions, higher up back extensions. So we're going 30s this week. We'll probably start pushing a little higher if, if we're hitting the, the numbers right. Um, higher up back extensions, once you get tired, will start to be a very good hamstring exercise, which is a little weird, but trust me. Um, and the last thing, we're just burning out the legs the rest of the way. Three sets of 50, air squats, no weight, body weight squats, up and down, speedy, fitty, fitty, fitty. You got to rest and recover, and if you haven't gotten the point yet, the volume is pretty stupid high right now, which means you need to be eating pretty stupid amounts of food. Free pass. Go get McDonald's. All right. Take a rest on Wednesday, because you deserved it. Thursday is our accessory for upper body day. So we're hitting some arms, some shoulders, and uh, some little, yeah, yeah, bias tries shoulders. It's a basic bodybuilding day. The sets are pretty high reps. So we're like 15, 12 reps per sets, and we're supersetting like before. Um, this is your pump day, so enjoy how jacked you look. And then we are capping off the week on Friday with deadlifts, our heavy sets, our heavy singles at 85%, and then life starts to get sad. Uh, we are doing five sets of 10 deadlifts starting at 67%, just like we did on the bench. Um, and that's paired with max rep pull-ups. So if you're a heavier dude, just be happy because your pull-up reps are gonna be kinda low. Uh, if you're a lighter dude, 
There you go. Let's get some mass on that body. Let's get some reps in. Okay, second superset is RDLs or stiff leg deadlifts. We're going eight of those in 15 dumbbell rows per arm. I don't care if you do single arm or double arm. doesn't make a difference to me. Just get 15 of both sides done. Only four sets on that. And then we're finishing off the week here with some planks for a minute. Um, I hope you guys give me some serious feedback on this. I really want to know how it goes and how we're feeling um, because it's going to determine what next week looks like. So if you are just murdered next week and you're murdered the week after that, I'm going to have to start taking the volume back because you guys are not recovering as much as I need you to. Super important things for this week to be successful, for the cycle to be successful, and in general to be successful. Get eight hours of sleep. Go to bed early. Just, just do it. You need to if you want to be successful at the strength game. Athletes sleep more than freaking everybody. So if you're training to be an athlete, behave like a freaking athlete. Same thing. Eat enough protein. Eat enough food. Take your body weight. 0.7 grams per pound of body weight is the minimum. I am 250 pounds. I eat 400 grams of protein a day. I'm not saying you got to go that crazy. I'm just saying that's what I do, and that's how I stay recovered from crap like this. I want you coming in strong. I want you hitting it so hard. 0.7 grams to a full gram of protein per pound of body weight. So for me, my minimum is 250 is like the crappiest day of protein I'm ever going to get because I know what my body needs to perform. You should too. Enjoy my super beard, and uh, I will holler at you guys later.